Hey Leo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Saturday, January 9th. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. At the heart of your reading, you are clearing up confusion about the options that lie before you. With the Seven of Potions reversed, it might have been confusing. You might not have known what you wanted from the situation. You might have had multiple possibilities that all seemed appealing. And you're becoming much more clear. You may have already chosen the direction that you want to head because you know, you know what will make you happy. What's the challenge here for Leo? The Fool. Being willing to start anew. It, this is the leap of faith. Once you know what you want, taking that first step toward it. That scary moment of, will I land on solid ground? What will my future look like? It's also a sense of wanderlust. It's like, this this brave new spirit who wants to embark on a new journey wow your focus we have tower energy uh, i think that this clarity came on very suddenly like a bolt from the blue You just had like a, a sudden realization, a eureka moment. Yes, this is the direction I'm headed. I'm going to take this leap of faith. I know what I want. In the recent past, you came up with the plan and you're doing it. Just like that, out of nowhere. Very impulsive energy. The energy of your environment. You are being divinely guided in this direction with temperance at the helm. You are connected to your higher self. You are integrating a more spiritual view as to how you live your life. Not to say that you're living like a, a complete 100% spirituality is always at the forefront of my life. But it's this um, following your passion, making choices based out of love and not fear, a more having faith in yourself, having faith in the process, having hope that things will work out. But I do think that you're also trusting in spirit more and more. Let's see what comes up in the near future. How did the story unfold for Leo? Knight of Needles. With this newfound understanding, you're going to commit and move quickly toward what you want. You're going to take action on it. You're going to implement your ideas. And you're going to shift from, what do I want emotionally now that you've made that decision? You're not in your feels anymore. You are acting on what you know. Knight of Needles is a very fast-moving energy as well, so I feel like you are... You're moving quickly toward what you want. Let's see your surprise energy. What is going to influence the situation that Leo does not see coming? Six of Needles. Okay, as a surprise energy, this is interesting because the Six of Needles, it's the Six of Swords, needles in this deck, talks about releasing the past by taking action moving out of the past. It's like collecting yourself, leaving, how do, how do I want to put this? It's not just leaving the past behind, but it's I feel like in this instance, it's very much like um, that ad adventurous energy, like you're more focused on the new 
you're not you're not running away from the past. It's not like your your current situation seems all that like I'm not seeing any indication that your past is troublesome. What I am seeing, however, is this this impulsive decision to move quickly toward the new. So I think you're just going to up and mo up and leave. You're going to up and and go. With that is going to is going to come some healing as well. Because the, at the heart of this it is emotionally what you want. So it'll be more fulfilling than your current situation. You might not realize the, the shift in direction or the, the fact that you will be leaving things behind in order to move toward this new future. That could be part of the surprise element there. Let's see your hopes and fears. Oh, my Leos. Always optimistic, always hopeful, always com supremely confident in your own ability to be happy and expansive. And you can. You're, you're applying this hopeful, optimistic energy toward what you want. That's going to draw in the, the most optimal energy for you with that sun energy and your hopes and fears. It's, it's with the fool and the sun, I'm like a hundred percent seeing that you are, you're moving toward an expansive, adventurous, um, exploratory, let's go out and see what the world has to offer me sort of energy. Let's see how this all resolves. What's the end result for my Leo? For the regal lions out there. High Priestess reversed. Okay, so right beside Temperance, we have another very spiritual card. This time in the reverse, this tells me that you may not be perceiving it as a spiritual thing. I think you are very connected to your higher self. You are being led and guided by spirit. And the way that you're interpreting that is more so um, like instinct or intuition or a gut feeling. And that's okay. Spirit doesn't mind. Spirit will guide you through whatever impulses are going to lead you toward your fulfillment, toward your joy, toward your happiness. But you're very dialed in. You're very connected. Let's see. What advice Spirit has for you? How can Leo work with these energies for their highest and best good? What extra credit can Leo do to optimize their situation? Any fine tuning to the plan? Okay, there are things that you need to resolve in the past or collect to bring with you. Uh, okay, two things here. Either, no, 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 both. Sorry, they're correcting me. When you're embarking on this new journey, don't burn bridges. Don't leave it all behind. Create a strategy or a plan of keeping a connection to where you are now in some way so that you have a tether, so that you go out and explore and you have a tether to a home base. It's, I'm getting something like there's, I'll just give the analogy the way, the way they're giving it to me. And this is a, a very rudimentary example, but it's like if you become a nomad for a time, a traveler, and you put all your things in storage, it's like coming, going on your adventure and then coming back to the storage unit to instead of sell everything and get rid of it because you're loving this new adventurous lifestyle. It's creating a different way of like going through the things. It's the process of deciphering 
the essentials, the essentials to keep. And it's not just about belongings here. It's not just about possessions. I'm using that as an analogy. It's like there are there are things in your current life that when you go on your adventures deserve to become deserved de no deserve you to come back to that that's a horrible way of saying it okay i will express this well for you guys there are valuable things in your life now that if you set things up right as you're embarking on these new adventures that you won't have to throw away that they will be you will be able to connect with it again or make use of it again or bring it with you on your adventures so that's one aspect of this reversal the other aspect is um your life is going to change for good once you once you embark on this new adventure there will be a return to do that step that i was talking about that i so eloquently described and then you will embark on the journey of your lifetime so expect a return and then a, a another bigger adventure all right leo I hope this helped. Good luck on your journey. Good luck on your new adventure. I hope it's everything that you want it to be. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.